shrinking crochet is infuriating but it happens to most people when they start out and there's some really common reasons and fortunately really easy and quick ways to avoid it the bad news is that you're probably going to have to undo some of what you've done uh, the likelihood is this is a uh, frog it as they say rip it apart start again situation not definitely but probably because the most common reasons for your crochet project shrinking are that you have skipped stitches at the beginning or the end of the row or within the row that your tension has got tighter and tighter as you've worked it that you've accidentally swapped hooks or stitches and all of these things are sadly only resolved by undoing what you've done but the best thing that we can do right now is to work out how it's happened so that when you undo it and do it again it doesn't happen again i must apologize when i thought i'll make a quick video about this i did not do what i normally do and clear the desk behind me so try and ignore the explosion of yarn which is indicative of the explosion of thoughts in my head that have happened today i, I have started three new things but you know they're all going to be great but shrinking crochet that's why we're here reason the first dropping a stitch at the end of the row now you might have dropped a stitch at the beginning of the row but the end of the row is much more likely and here's why Which is made even more mess by grabbing this but here's a good example the uh, this is a corner to corner crochet blanket uh, but i've done the edge in double crochets and rounds or rows of double crochets uh, are something that causes a little slip up for people because when you get to the end of the row what looks like the last stitch is not and you will need to poke your hook into one stitch along in order to make one more crochet than you think that you'll need for that round. So if that's what you've done wrong, count your stitches across. If there are too few for the row that you're doing, that is probably what you've done. You've probably missed the one at the end. And just to check that I'm right, take your take your work and wedge another stitch into the end and see if it now looks like the rows are leveling out for you if they aren't and it's a missed stitch situation then the missed stitch will be somewhere within your work in the center it's not as easy to to do that by mistake but it does happen i even occasionally do it now a decade into crocheting especially when i'm trying to film myself at the same time so i'm not giving it my full attention or when i'm crocheting in the dark in the car that's quite fun but it it is easier to miss stitches because i do it by feel so missed stitch probably at the end of the row if you've missed it at the beginning it might well be because you've forgotten to chain at the beginning of the row so have a quick check of that as well um, and it could be in the middle and you'll find that easy to see as you count along because you'll see that there is a little gap in one of the stitches where another stitch should be on top if you are working in a round so you're making a migurumi a toy instead of a uh, a this is my hand gesture for row apparently if you're making a toy instead of a row so you're working it around in a circular and continuous fashion the likelihood if it looks like it's shrinking too quickly is that you've done too many decreases so once again we can resolve this through counting the number of stitches in the round and making sure that we are using stitch markers to mark the place that we started even if you think you're keeping good count in your head life is very distracting and it is entirely possible that what you've done is either increase the pattern of decreases too much so say if you're meant to be doing one single crochet and then a decrease so that's two together and what you've accidentally done is rather than doing six of those couplings for the round you've done seven so you've inadvertently decreased too far that's really easy to do if you've not got a stitch marker likewise you can check it by going around and checking the stitches with your thumb here's my piggy um 
Yep, so you can go check and the number of stitches in the round, here's its bottom as an example, you're going to count round in your circles and you're going to make sure that the count of the stitches is where you think you are in the pattern. If you're getting too small too quickly at the at the end of your toy whilst you're making a decrease count how many stitches are in a round and from that using small amounts of maths you can work out where in the pattern you're actually getting lost and there are two uh, other technical reasons that this happens a lot of the time and um, one of them is swapping hooks and if you've got a lot of things on the go like like some of us um it's easy to uh, accidentally get confused about which stitch was for which project. I, stitch? Hook. Which hook was for which project? What I now try and do is actually keep a hook in the project that I'm working on, which has required investing in further hooks. But, um, but if you're doing a lot of it, it can be very much worthwhile. Or just using a stitch marker, a little bit of paper, scrap of paper, mark on what hook you were using. If you go down a hook size, even if it's just half a millimetre, it can actually make a significant difference to how big your stitch looks. Likewise, doing the wrong stitch can make it smaller. So for example, if you're working a row in a blanket and you were doing double crochets, so I'm missing the desk, and you were doing double crochets and you've accidentally swapped to single crochets, what will be shrinking is the height of the stitch rather than the length of the round so check for that as well the final one and it's something that's really common when you're learning is tension tension is fundamental to crochet and, and, and it's something that i really try and empathize when empathize emphasize when i'm teaching people because it dictates the size of your stitch if you pull your yarn more tightly some yarn if you pull your yarn more tightly your stitch will become smaller so if you can see a gradual decrease in the height and width of the stitches throughout a round or two it's probably that you're increasing tension i find that my tension increases if i'm concentrating really hard or if i'm stressed um because your body tightens when you're stressed. So if you began your project nice and relaxed and then someone came home from school and told you that they'd lost their trainers and that you'd need to buy them some more, that might be slightly stressful and your tension might increase. All those things make your crochet work shrink, contract in height or in width as you're working it. And this is a thing that happens both when you're working in rounds and when you're working in rows. And it is so common, don't beat yourself up for it. It's a mistake that happens a lot. Try and work out where you went wrong and undo to that point and then make a tiny sample of a few stitches to make sure that you're happy, that you're back on track. If none of those seem to be the reason drop me a comment underneath. Let's try and work out together why it's happening. Let's run through those again. Here are the reasons that your crochet project is probably shrinking. You have dropped a stitch, you've decreased too much too quickly in a round, you have picked up the wrong hook, and you have increased your tension. If you're here, because you've washed something you made with crochet and it has shrunk. It's the temperature and the fiber. Um, I know you're probably not, but just, it's really important when you're washing yarn to check the packaging to see if you can wash it and at what temperature it's safe. If it says hand wash only, don't put it on the hand wash cycle in the machine, actually wash it by hand from sad experience. What we don't want is to turn our beautiful work into felt. I hope that's helpful. Let me know if it doesn't solve the problem for you and we'll work on it together. Happy crocheting!